When it comes to the ACCA F5 exam, one common mistake that students make in this calculation is they mix up the average time or the total time. So for example, if the total time is 240 for four units, they'll accidentally say AR squared is equal to 240. Or if the average time for eight units is 50, they'll accidentally take the eight AR cubed value against 50. So we need to be careful. Worst case scenario, even if for some reason they don't tell you whether the time is average or total time, it should be obvious. Remember the pattern? If the number below is bigger than the number for the first unit, then it's obviously the total time because that's increasing. But remember, based on the learning curve, average time per unit actually falls. So if the number below is smaller than the number above, then it's the average time per unit. So be careful about that. Another thing worth noting is just a basic uh, on the use of calculators. Some students seem to struggle with the fact that some calculators might not have the square root or cube root number directly. So in this case, in this calculator, we have the second function, which could give you the second and the square root or the cube root. But even if we assume that the calculator did not have that, we can use the basic mathematical principle that to find the nth root of a number, just raise the number to the power of one by n which I did in the examples during the video. So for example, to find the square root of 100, we can raise it to the power of square root, so one by two, right? To find the same. If we need to find the cube root of, let's say 1000, we would raise it to the power of, again, cube root. So uh, we'd raise it to the power of one by three. Right? Okay. So just keep that in mind in case you have any calculator troubles in the exam.